The topic of the Crucible and the conversation around PvP in the Destiny 2 environment has been a major one for the past couple of seasons. Really, it feels like for the past couple of years, uh, in which a lot of players, especially the more Crucible-minded ones, have been waiting and waiting and waiting for major changes to come to that aspirational game mode. And if you're in the know, you know you'll be waiting for a bit longer. The problems with Crucible right now stem from more than just a general lack of content. It is the game mode that has suffered just outright ignorance from Bungie for the longest period of time and almost felt like they were ignoring it for a long time. The lack of new content, new game modes, something different uh, than just different variations of Slayer like what we've got right now. New maps. We haven't seen new maps in what feels like years. I don't think we got any with uh, Europa. There was none with that new planet. We've gotten none in the season since. And the only real change with the Crucible overall came from a revamp of what classes and abilities were being used in it with the introduction of Stasis. And we all know how that turned out. It definitely didn't make the Crucible a better place. There are fundamental issues with the state of the Crucible right now, and people have been waiting for a long time for Bungie to respond with something anything about how they're going to be addressing the Crucible's many issues moving forward. It's been like a long two years of waiting for that renewed focus on PvP that Luke Smith talked about before Shadowkeep came out. But yesterday, August 4th, 2021, we got a response about the future of Destiny's PvP content, the short-term future and some stuff we're going to be getting, and then of course the long-term future. We also got a bit of an explanation for why things have been so quiet when it comes to changes to the Crucible, changes to Comp, which has a ton of problems with it, changes to Trials and everything surrounding PvP. In a long Twitter thread pinned by Bungie Assistant Game Director for Destiny 2, Joe Blackburn, we got to learn directly from Bungie what's been going on with the Crucible. And I'm going to take some time in this video to go through everything that he had to say. If you want the short version so you can kind of skip out on the rest, we're going to get more information about the Crucible on August 24th when they push out their big reveal for whatever's coming next. We're assuming it's going to be about Witch Queen. Uh, in Season 16, we're going to get two older maps coming back. In Season 17, we're going to get one new map. And in Season 18, we're going to get reprised older maps again. They're also working on new game modes and potentially returning Rift to the game. That's the long story short. But of course, there's a bit more detail contained in Joe's post that we are going to be covering here. Anyways, here's how it goes. Ahead of the showcase this month, I wanted to take a little time to talk about Destiny PvP. Competitive modes are part of what makes this game special. I can't imagine a version of Destiny 2 that doesn't involve getting a sweet new gun and taking it for a spin in the Crucible. This year, the team has spent a lot of our future-facing effort on plussing up the current Crucible experience. You've seen this already in stasis balancing, reputation updates, and shifting weapon metas. Next season, you'll continue to see this effort with not only changes to 3-peaking, but also what the team has been planning for the revamp of Trials of Osiris. Tune in on August 24th for more info. We've got to keep our foot on the gas when it comes to revitalizing PvP pursuits and keeping gameplay metas fresh. This isn't something we'll ever be done with, but we know we also have room to grow when it comes to new maps and modes. The first half of 2021, we've been working on the foundation, but now we're spinning up teams on new maps and modes. That's going to be important later. We believe in this investment, but it's going to take some time before you start seeing results in game. The ultimate goal here is consistency. If you play PvP, the team wants you to understand that you will be getting new maps and modes every year, and that the cadence of those coming out feels predictable. But in order to get predictable, we need to open the faucet again. New maps take time to get right, so to open the faucet for Season 16, the team is working on porting two vaulted Destiny 2 maps to be compatible with our engine updates. When we upgraded our engine with Beyond Light, it means we had to hand port all of our Destiny 2 maps and modes. So while it may seem from the outside like we're just pushing a button, there's a significant lift from the team to get more of this content back in rotation. After reprise maps in Season 16, Season 17 will come with a brand new map. 
There are a bunch of new environments in Destiny 2, and we're excited to start bringing them into the Crucible. Finally, after those three maps are added to the rotation in Season 16 and 17, we will be remastering a Destiny 1 map and bringing it to Destiny 2 for the first time in Season 18. All this effort is going to be done in parallel with the team looking to fund the far future with a predictable roadmap of maps in Lightfall and beyond. But maps are just part of the recipe here. We also know we need to support modes. There are three main efforts going on behind the scenes here. First, the team is investigating getting Rift in Destiny 2 next year. It's been too long since we've dunked on some Guardians. The Destiny sandbox has sped up in Destiny 2, so right now the team is validating that mode still holds up with our new gameplay. Second, the team is working on multiple brand new modes for 2022. We aren't quite ready to spoil these yet, but we're excited to offer new twists and rules to the way you can make Shaxx proud. Finally, after the dust settles on the Trials update in Season 15, we want to look at what other broad systemic improvements the PvP ecosystem needs. We want to provide something on the scale of this Trials rework to players every year. And then Joe ends things by saying this. So, this tweet thread has turned into a tweet novel, but I wanted to make sure we shed some light to what's going on behind the scenes here. Overall, we're still very interested in growing the amount of destiny we make every year. One way to hold me accountable is by looking at our careers page. We're looking for environmental artists, gameplay designers, lighting artists, and more to help improve our PvP output. We know you want more destiny, and we are committed to growing the team that's going to make that possible. It's always risky to talk about what's in the oven as dates and specifics might change, but it's been a while since we've talked PvP, and we want players to know that we're working on content for all those Guardians who like to spend time with Shax and the Red Jacks. And there we go, that is the end of Joe Blackburn's Twitter thread, talking quite a bit about a lot of the things that need to happen in Destiny 2's Crucible environment. And while I'm certainly happy to get this update, again, uh, they, they talk a bit about, of course, Trials is seeing some major changes in Season 15, but that's pretty much going to be it outside of potential sandbox changes with, you know, a bit of weapon balancing going on, which is, of course, important. But as for new maps and new game modes, we're not going to be seeing any new maps until the season after next season. Season 16, we're going to get two older maps from D2 returning, and then in Season 17, we're going to get one new map, and then in Season 18, we're going to get reprised older maps again. And then after that, later on is when they're going to be pushing out some new game modes and potentially returning Rift. I think all that's great. It's great that we're finally hearing from Bungie about the state of the Crucible, something that we have been complaining loudly about, again, for the better part of two years. But at the same time, this kind of tent says to me, you know, two years ago, before Shadowkeep dropped, when Luke Smith, when we heard about this renewed focus, this mythical renewed focus on PvP, they didn't even have a team working on PvP. You know, Bungie's made up of a bunch of different teams. They have environmental design teams, they have encounter teams, they have reward teams, they have the sandbox team, they have the team that builds the perks and the weapon designs and all that kind of stuff. They used to have a team for Crucible, and it seems like, uh, according to Joe here, they haven't had that since then. So that renewed focus on PvP wasn't really a thing when they said it was. Which, of course, a lot of people had suspected for quite some time. And on that end, I do think it's important to hold Bungie accountable. I can understand the difficulty of having to port content. Of course, they did go through the big engine change in Beyond Light, so I'm not necessarily mad that we haven't gotten more maps and all that kind of stuff. But telling players that you were going to be focusing on that when you really weren't, especially when those players could kind of suss that out in the year or two since you made that statement. I wish Bungie had been more forthright, more upcoming. I wish Joe had made this post, this Twitter thread, a while ago. If we had gotten this maybe at the start of Beyond Light saying, hey, we got a new engine coming in. This is making uh, importing content really hard. We basically have to hand write everything from scratch again. I think the player base, especially the Crucible player base, would have been entirely understanding about that aspect. But by Bungie being less than forthcoming about the state of the Crucible and then absolutely unwilling to address it before yesterday, like at all, he didn't talk about the state of it at all, just said, hey, we're working on it in the future. 
I think Bungie made the situation far worse than it really needed to be. But we at least know that now there are some things coming. We're hopefully going to get some of those fundamental changes sooner rather than later. But as with all things, just getting out there and putting out the God's honest truth is always a great way to start. Me, personally, I've got no problem with them uh, relying upon old maps and whatnot to reintroduce into the game. Bring back more D1 maps. I think that's perfectly fine. Sure, work on some new ones. Get those out when you can. But if uh, in the meantime, if it's easier for you to just port over a bunch of Destiny 1 and Destiny 2 maps, do it. We need something different in the game right now. Get some of those game modes back in there. Revamp the Trials, Comp, and Iron Banner experience. These are some of the fundamental things that need to change in the Crucible, and especially with the reward structure, and make it that aspirational content that it's supposed to be. But anyways, that's the news coming from Joe Blackburn about the state of the Crucible and the changes that we'll be seeing in the future. Again, no new maps, no new game modes in Season 15, next season. We're not going to be seeing any new maps until the season after that, but we will be getting the big Trials changes starting next season. We're also going to be getting a big Iron Banner change as well. But that's the news on the Crucible in Destiny 2, and those are my thoughts. Remember, honesty is always the best policy. If you agree or disagree, feel free to leave your comments down in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like, make sure you subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest stuff we're putting out. But I'm out for now. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I am the Black Link. You guardians, stay frosty.